This is the government complex in the heart of Mosul. Hugely symbolic, both sides want to control it. There's been heavy fighting here. Iraqi forces announced they had control of it on Tuesday morning. But ISIL fighters have been launching counter-attacks. In a show of confidence, Iraq's prime minister arrived at the recently taken Mosul airport. The advance continues, and these are the last days of Daesh. My message to the people of Mosul is to continue welcoming the forces, as they have done in the liberated districts. Daesh are either running away or are being killed. They have two choices. The first choice is to surrender, and we promise them a fair trial. Their second option is to be killed. This has been a long and difficult fight, and it is far from over. Iraqi forces say they are now entering Mosul's old city. But the gains made over the last 24 hours are significant. Among them, Mosul's museum, the second largest in Iraq, now out of ISIL's hands. Many will remember these images. Some of these were replicas. But ISIL made a point of destroying precious artifacts. Some are thousands of years old. The Iraqi army has suffered heavy casualties, as have countless civilians. More than 65,000 Iraqis have been forced to leave Mosul since the start of the Western offensive just over two weeks ago. And for many of those we've spoken to, it seems that the civilian death toll, until now impossible to confirm, is high. And there is a real fear that the number of civilians displaced, injured and killed will soar now that the battle for the densely populated old city is underway. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Erbil.